hi sweeties how are you all doing welcome to nanya see me this is your first time of coming across this channel so you kindly smash the subscribe button turn on the notification so you get notified each time i upload and please give this video a thumb up i appreciate you all and i want to say a very big thank you to everyone of you for always coming back to watch my videos yo you all are the bomb so today i got this like a very juicy gist i think you all are definitely gonna like and i wanted to stay glued to the screen so you get all the information it's actually about black mama by russia and white mama by russia this is an interesting one and you don't want to miss out on anything with that being said let's get into this video so you know how we be kicking that there's a difference between white mama biracials and black mama biracials, right? This is an actual sociological phenomenon that I really think we could trace back to slavery. Stay with me. So back in the day, the child would take on the status of the mother, which means that no matter how much blackness you had in you, if your mama was a slave, your mama could have been a mulatto, a crawjoon, a full black woman. If she was a slave, you would therefore be a slave. So you had children who had white slave owner daddies, but were being raised, the labor of raising them was on their black and slave mothers. And whether or not we want to admit it, culture came out of slavery right so not only were these children taking on the status of being enslaved they were taking on the cult culture of being enslaved they were taking on norms music language etc they were being they were seeing themselves as black people regardless of their genetic makeup and their black enslaved mothers had to navigate that with them they had to raise them through that and white men were able to continue procreating these biracial children with no consequence so much so that there were laws saying you couldn't technically grape a black enslaved woman because black enslaved women were naturally promiscuous but on the flip side black enslaved men weren't really having kids with white women like that they <laughs> they literally would be caught dead if they did white women would still sexually assault them or if there was a sexual relationship the black men would just be accused of assault if they got caught and we've seen that play out for decades so by the time the interracial relations became legal there had been centuries of white men being able to grip in pregnant black women and black women having to raise those children as their own and embed them within slave culture and black culture but black men never had to do that same type of labor if anything black men actually being able to legally be with white women was a way for them to remove themselves from their blackness coveting a white woman became a form of like a revolutionary act because then you're coveting the white man's woman this literally explains so much because black men in the context of interracial relations black men never had to have the labor of having a biracial child and yet still having to explain and raise that child in the status of your own having to explain to this child their blackness having to explain why the world sees them this way why they're being treated this way helping them navigate their experience in blackness so then if you throw in on top of that the weird exploitative nature of black men and white women being together in a relationship where white women have always sexualized black men and now black men are like white men we can legally cover your woman who is teaching their child about blackness about black culture <laughs> But the white woman for sure don't care <laughs> okay we see white women cry on this app every fucking day about oh my god my biracial child realize they're black and then black men i mean you've never really had to navigate that that situation for centuries like black women have so again who is telling this child about their blackness exactly who is telling the child about their blackness this is actually a very interesting one and very educative at the same time and i am going to say like you know education is actually elevation anyways let's get into the stitches and see what they got to tell us also about this all right here we go having to raise those children as their own and embed them within slave culture and black culture hey guys i need you to go back and watch this lady's video i mean she's so on point with this topic not only this topic but a whole bunch of other topics super super uh intelligent i love her content and she's so spot on with this whole biracial issue and she gives great context to the dichotomy with which black women were faced versus white women when having biracial kids um or you know mixed race kids back during slavery so when when i get so frustrated and i say you know nobody here in america is full of a, a pure race it's because of what she explained back in in slavery times when master infiltrated and raped our women and mainly it always went that way because rarely did ever uh it go the opposite where the the black man 
fathered a child with a white woman because he was uh, summarily killed. But um, in my case, it really resonated because like I've said in other posts, I was raised by my black grandmother and my and 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 the whole responsibility issue and the onus that black women have taken on throughout the centuries um, of, of immersing us biracial mix, whatever you want to call us kids into the black culture and how we take on that ethnically, uh, culturally, no matter how we present, because never in my case, um, my 16 year old white mother could not handle me and she did not have the support of her white parents. Um, and so therefore she was going to give me up for adoption. But as a last resort, she called out to my, my black grandmother and my grandmother said, no way is my baby going into adoption. And she flew out to LA to come and get me and raise me from 18 months old. And she, because she, we are versed in that the black culture is versed in taking on biracial kids or kids that don't look like, uh, you know, black people typically because through centuries we've done this and for centuries, uh, unfortunately, the white women have struggled with this issue when they procreate with a black man um, and they need help and guidance from black women oftentimes. But it really resonated with me and it really explained the story. That's why I always wish that people wouldn't be so tunnel focused on the last 20, 30 years that they actually go back and do some research um, and see the history from where our blood got all mixed up and there's no monoracial black person in America. So go check her out. She's awesome. Yeah, actually, she got great content. I have been following her and she comes like, you know, comes up with absolutely amazing content. So yeah, she got great content. So you can as well, like, you know, follow her. All right, let's still get into this tissue. Okay? So you know how we be kicking that there's a difference between white mama biracials and black mama biracials, right? Go back and watch that real quick and then come right back because I have a story about this. So for everyone that doesn't know, my husband is white. So there, we're going we're gonna to start there. I have three boys. They are nine, six, and two. And they are all very much engrossed in the culture. All the culture. A lot of the culture. Right? So I think what's also funny about this is that when she talks about how black men marry white women for status, there are people who asked me if I thought I married up by marrying my white husband. <laughs> He's laughing at me right now. But that always like made me laugh because I was like, do y'all not know who my mama is? Like, y'all. So I'm wondering if this goes into the whole thing of like status because people really thought that I thought I married up and I was like, nah or they would say did you marry a white man to marry up and i'm like nah yeah i have heard that a whole lot like you know um black men marrying women for status like you know they feel like when they marry a woman a black a white woman and like you know their status just like increase them all that anyway still let's get into these tissues so you know how we be kicking that there's a difference between white mama biracials and black mama biracials right so if you haven't watched that video, I highly suggest that you do. Um, yeah, so she goes further to explain like it didn't matter if you were, if your mom was a quadroon, whatever, if you black, you was black baby. And that's very much like my experience because even though my mom is a light skinned black woman, like I, my whole life, that's how she raised me like i'm black so you black um <laughs> and a lot of people don't like get that but yes um hi <laughs> god why i gotta be so fucking weird Ugh. but everything that she talks about when it comes to black mothers who have like biracial kids like she breaks it down from slavery all the way till now. So if y'all want to get educated on that, watch that video, period. All right, like I said before, education is elevation. Absolutely, I enjoy this content because like, you know, it's really amazing learning something new and um, and they did this definitely and perfectly well laid. Like everything was absolutely well laid out. 
and they made an excellent point and i enjoyed this content like you know if you listen to what they said like almost everything like they were hitting like you know nail hammer on the nail and that was like you know it was like glaring that they were like you know making a whole lot of point and yes being biracial with like you know some being biracial with white woman or black woman uh, or a black dad literally like you know how to teach them like how to do everything and at the same time let them know that like you know you know some people be like when they have biracial kids they are like oh you are white some don't even some don't actually try to tell their kids that they are biracial some try to like you know probably pick a particular side you know but they are both and are both cultures and everything should be like you know talk to them and the rest of them yeah so it's actually a very great one i totally enjoyed i like you know reacting to it i love it a whole lot all right gang thank you so much for everything and i, I will see you all in my next video. and wait let me know let me know what you all think in the comment section i'll see you all bye for now